Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorial series. I right click on first script.html page, open with the Firefox. I right click once again on first script.html page, open with the notepad. In the previous video tutorial, we understood JavaScript comments. We learned that comments are ignored by the browsers. Comments are used to add description to code or to explain code logic. There are two types of comments. We have single line comments and multi line comments. Single line comments are indicated by two forward slashes. Multi line comments are indicated by forward slash star and star forward slash. After the double forward slashes, whatever we write, it is going to be treated as a comment and browser ignores that statement. And whatever we sandwich in between forward slash star and star forward slash is also treated as a comment and the comments are ignored by the browsers. Sometimes if you do not want to execute your code, you can take help of comments. Two forward slashes if I write in front of a line, that line of code is treated as a comment. If we want, we can sandwich more than one line of codes in between forward slash star and star forward slash to convert the code to comment so that browser can ignore that code. That is all about comments my friends. We discuss more about comments if we need. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss how do we use HTML tags in JavaScript codes. So let's get started. I have deleted all the code in between the script tags. You can see file, save, go to browser and refresh. Now here I am going to say document dot write in bracket. I am going to say hello JavaScript exclamation mark, double quotation, bracket close, semicolon. We know that this line is going to display hello JavaScript exclamation mark on the browser window. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see I got the output. Let me zoom little bit so that we can see the text little bit clearly. Now here I am going to add one more line of code. I copy that and paste it down. File, save. We know that hello JavaScript and hello JavaScript exclamation mark. Both of these statements are going to be displayed one beside another. Refresh. You can see that we are getting hello JavaScript exclamation mark. Hello JavaScript exclamation mark are displayed one beside another. If I want to move this statement to down, then we have understood in the previous video tutorial that we can use HTML tags as part of a strings to achieve desired results. You can see here I am using the break tag. The break tag is going to move the cursor to the next line and display this text on the next line. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that that text got displayed down. Similarly, I can copy this and paste it few times to display the content one below another. You can see file, save, go to browser and refresh. Few times I have displayed hello JavaScript exclamation mark. If I want to display this text little bit bold, then I can use the opening B tag and closing B tag that we have learnt in HTML, which makes the text display bold. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that JavaScript exclamation mark got displayed bold. If you want, you can use other tags also. I am going to use here opening U tag and closing U tag. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that this text is getting displayed underlined. If you want to display the text both bold as well as underlined, you can nest one tag inside another tag that we have learnt in HTML. So here I am writing opening B and closing B tag as well as I am going to write opening U and closing U tag. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that this text got bold as as well as underlined. That means you can use your HTML tags to create the complete HTML page itself inside the JavaScript. Hope you guys have understood how do we use the tags in JavaScript code to achieve the desired result. I suggest you to try some other tags and display the text by using JavaScript and HTML. For this tutorial, this much is enough friends. In the next tutorial, we get more information on JavaScript. For more benefits, and be updated, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.